Hey guys, we are taking a look at the Tear rotary scissors from Amazon mounted onto the Ryobi 40 volt expanded power head. This is the cheapest Ryobi expanded head with the non brushless motor. And the Tear rotary scissors are the cheapest rotary scissors that I could find online. Now, these were mounted onto the shaft for the string trimmer attachment, which came with the Ryobi, by loosening the two bolts on the end, removing the string trimmer head, and then replacing with the rotary scissors attachment with the included square drive shaft adapter. The whole process took about five minutes and was really easy to do, but you do lose the string trimmer attachment when you do this unless you're gonna continue that procedure back and forth and swap the two. Now the Ryobi Powerhead can run this tool without any problems, although you do have to be mindful that heat will build up with the non brushless version. If you work with it constantly for five minutes or more, the motor can start to heat up and actually start to burn your arm a little bit depending on how you hold the tool. Now if you're doing a bigger property where you need to do a lot of work with this, then I would recommend you purchase the brushless version of the Ryobi Powerhead, which is a little bit more money, uh, but runs a little bit cooler. Other than that, I did not have any issues with the tool running the rotary scissors. Uh, I tended to keep the trigger at about 25 to 30%. Uh, that's really all I found you need to make this work correctly. The rotary scissors are great for getting around odd shaped objects such as under these flower beds here where I can't get my mower in or a traditional string trimmer would be difficult to do or getting up close to things you don't want to damage with string slap from a string trimmer such as fences. The rounded edges of the blades actually let it just kind of gently bounce off objects without damaging them. The scissors also let you cut down really low if you're mowing at one inch height or lower like you would with a real mower with southern turf grass. The base of the scissors can actually be rested on the ground as you swing it around, which keeps your cut level and saves your back and arms as you're not having to constantly hold the weight of the entire rig. I would recommend that if you do use this tool, you do your edging first and then mow because you can end up with large clumps of material from using the scissors. The material is, is gently cut down instead of being pulverized like it is with a string trimmer. So what you'll end up with is pretty large clumps of material sitting on the grass. So if you mow after you edge, that will help chop those up and leave you with a cleaner finish to your cut in your yard. So in conclusion, I was pretty happy with this tool's performance uh, on the Ryobi head, and I would easily recommend this tool and this power head if you're looking into getting rotary scissors. Thank you.